<clears throat> Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. As you guys seen, I have broken bunk boards. A, a broken bunk board. That's why I haven't been fishing lately. So, well first let me say, happy Veterans Day. We appreciate y'all, all the veterans out there. It is Veterans Day today. Um, but, I wanted to try to do this little thing to show you guys well, what I'm going to try to do. This is my first time doing it, never did it before. Um, I bought, I went online and I looked for alternatives to carpet because um, I didn't want to use carpet on my uh, on my bunk boards now. So I found this and it's by Caliber. It's Caliber Bunk Wraps and it's a, it's a plastic. I'll put a link on the description down below if you guys want to just go straight to it and, uh, and see what it is. But it's a, it's a hard plastic that's going to go over the the bunk boards and they come with this one i only i have my two bunk boards are eight uh eight feet so this roll right here is 16 feet long so obviously i'm gonna measure this one out cut it and it should have enough for the other one but this is what it comes with. it comes with uh your wrap it comes with the end caps it comes with stainless steel uh screws which is essential these two little Velcro uh, wrap up. I don't know if this is going to work. Tracker Pro 170. It has two by fours for the bunk boards. I want to get a little bit bigger, hopefully be a little bit more sturdy for my boat. Maybe last longer, stronger, and I got two by sixes. I don't know if it's going to work. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, we're going to test it out. If it works, great. If it don't, that's going to suck because now i got to go spend more money. But I already put some um, some water sealant on this. I don't know where it's at. Some Tom Oh, yeah, it's right here. Uh, Thompson's water, water seal, the waterproofing on this. And let it cure. And now I'm ready to start putting this thing on. So let's get to it. That, that sucked. That was great. All right, guys. My gimbal, my gimbal pretty much died. So now I got it standing. I don't know. I hope, I hope this comes out good. The thing about these end caps is, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory, but you got one side that is uh, no, no grooves. And the other side has grooves. Obviously, this part's going to be the part that's going to be up that your boat is going to actually go on. Let's put those on. And then from what I see online, off their website is, they put it flush with the other one. They don't put it overlapping the end cap and the end cap don't overlap the main thing. They just put it flush. And I'm assuming that's because when the boat slides on and off, you want it pretty flush. You don't want nothing overlapping. So. And they come with these, uh, the straps that I talked about. So there, we have it strapped on there. This is overlapped, just like that. And I think what I want to do is probably put a couple screws here on the bottom to hold it here. That way we can work on whatever down there and I need to cut it. All right, let me show you guys how that looks. So you got three right in there. And then I put two down there. So we have, we have to cut this. I don't think this is gonna mark. Oh yeah, it does. Oh my lord. How's it look? 
Good enough. Ain't too bad. <laughs> Flip it over. All right, so we flipped it over, and what I did here was I fastened those. So from there, we're supposed to do, from what it said, every 12 inches after that, every foot, you go. So we marked it 12 inches. Uh, where's the marks? 12 inches right there, and then we're gonna put. Um, screws which they're saying fasteners in each spot right there and see how it comes out no well, we'll see All right, guys, so we skip forward. It's pretty self-explanatory. I mean, you, you lay them out. You guys saw the little clip of how we laid it out. These right here, they do come in handy. These things right here. So this is the first one that we did. It's cool. Either you get a really sharp blade or something to cut. My cut wasn't great, but it's good enough. Um, with this second one, this one we learned. So I might have to unscrew this part right here because it's sticking up so much or it might not matter, but it's sticking up right here. And then I might have to like pull this out more to make it more straight. But one thing about these screws, they're not the best quality. They do strip really quickly. And we ran out, we ran out of screws because uh, we needed more over here we needed two extra ones so um i'm probably gonna have to, i'm well not probably but i'm gonna go buy four more screws to put on here so this is gonna be a two-day thing I'm pretty sure you could do it in one day i gotta figure out how i'm gonna lift up the boat and put these boards in uh, i gotta go online see how they did it but i might have an idea on how to lift it up it's a light boat but and then uh, probably with jacks or something i, I don't know i, I seen something and then put some other boards in there to replace it real quick and then switch them out. I don't know, we'll figure it out. But you guys will see um, how we do it. I'm trying to do the whole thing on video so you guys can check it out. Um, other than that, uh, I guess we'll wait till day two, whatever. I mean, it, it shouldn't take this long, but it's my first time doing it. it it's it's pretty quick job. Oh, make sure, look, come look at this. Make sure they're level. These are level. If you can see right here, it's hitting. And on this side, it's not. So make sure you even these out right here, these end caps. But other than that, you should be good. I mean, it, it don't look bad at all. It looks pretty good. What I'm gonna do is this side, that's not as even, I'm gonna put that at the very top. That side will be at the bottom, so. But we'll see, wait for day two. And then uh, we'll figure out how to put these on the boat, on the on the trailer. Day two coming up next. All right, guys, we're here with day two. I got microphones in now, so the audio should be way better. I got my gimbal working, and we're gonna see. Or I'm gonna show you guys. So I got the trailer up. Hold on, let's show you. So I got the boat on these boards right here. So I got a, a, a jack with two boards, one long board and two boards right there. And that's how I lifted it up. Now that side is broke. This side, it lifted off. And as you can see, I already took off the two by four. This two by four right here. I took that off. I got, put the two by six in there and it should be good. It looks like it's gonna be all right. Um, I haven't bolted it on or nothing like that. I just lined it up. Uh, I had to go get a few more screws like I told you guys yesterday to do that one. I'll do that later But right now I'm gonna bolt this in and um, Drop and then grab the other side 
I'll drop it down. If you guys want to see, look, I'll show you guys right now why I'm replacing it. So right there, you can see how bent it is. Look at that. Yeah, it's broke. All right, so let's uh, let's bolt this on. Make sure it's evened up. I'm probably gonna. I got these clamps that I'm gonna clamp it um, once I get it set in. Drill the holes, the starter holes, um, and then put the bolts on there. Hopefully, it comes out good. All right. So I pretty much I put clamps. I'm not sure if you guys can see. Let me try to brighten this up a little bit. So I put clamps right there and then, oh, super bright. And then right there. So we're, so I don't want the board to move. And then I'm gonna put a little starter hole and then put the bolts. Hopefully it works out. I mean, I'm not sure if I got to take into account like how far it is right here off the side. But I mean, these brackets are there. I mean, they're not going to move. So since these boards are are bigger, that's the only thing. If you get two by fours, you can just line them up in the middle of those and you'll be solid. But since these are two by sixes, I think I have to come over just a little bit on there if you can see it's not perfectly in the middle it's more um, out this way towards the outside because if I go more towards the middle it'll end up hitting my I don't know what that's called but we'll see we'll see well let's go ain't nothing to it but to do it all right, I don't know how the lighting is. I know some people go crazy off the lighting, but, and I'm, I mean, but you know, yeah, I mean, you, I'm just drilling a hole, a little starter hole so I can put the bolt in. So it's nothing crazy. Put the bolt here, a ratchet. All right, guys, I bolted it on. Now I'm gonna tell you, put this, okay, take into account this uh, end cap. I did, and I measured it and everything like that because if you have your transducer here, it will hit. I had my boat, let me go up front. I had my boat all the way up at first. But when I jacked it up, come on, you're gonna focus. When I jacked it up, this right here slid back about two inches and I didn't realize that. So when I went to the back to uh, measure this up, it was all, it looked good. But come to find out, it wasn't. So when I dropped it down, it ended up hitting my transducer. So I had to go back forward about two inches. I'll show you guys right now. Right there, if you can see, that's how far over here. That was the original hole that I did. And then I had, that's how much I had to go back. It was right there. But when I dropped it down, it, it was good. Sat good and everything like that. So now I got it all bolted on. I went forward. That obviously side don't matter because there's no transducer. Transducer, But make sure you remember that. Crap. That was irritating. All right, guys. That is a wrap. All done. Got that board in there. We got this side that was the most messed up. 
in there. Looking good. Might be a little dark. Yeah, so that board in there looks pretty straight. Set right there. Got this one sitting right here. Now remember to, if you have a transducer on there, now this is on the Tracker Pro 170. So the other boats, I'm not sure, you know, you guys would have to um, take into uh, consideration whatever transducer you have on there. But these end caps, they give it an extra like inch, inch and a half. So just um, take into account for that. But yeah, so two by six on a Tracker Pro 170, it had the two by fours. I'll go show you those two by fours right now. All right, this is the one that wasn't broke, which ain't too bad. Still old, but this is the one that was, yeah, look at that. That, that was a wrap. So focus in on that, yeah. That one was done. Other than that, guys, that's it. I hope you guys, I hope this video was helpful to you guys that want to, that are going to do carpets or um, re-carpet your board or put different bunk boards. I hope it helped you guys out and I'll give you guys an update later on in the future. I don't know if that water sealant, maybe I should have did something else, but this is the first time I'm doing it. So maybe I had to do something else to seal it better. We're going to see how this holds up. Um, for the most part, those, those holes that I drilled first, I'm going to have to put some sealant in those so water won't seep inside that. But other than that, I mean, I know this video probably wasn't great, but I hope it was helpful. So now I'll be able to get back on the water and then you'll be able to get some videos and I'll be able to drop some videos out there. Uh, the winter is coming. Stripers, I want to go catch some stripers. So we'll see if I get out in the water and catch some stripers and um, get ready for Thanksgiving, New Year's. And then we'll start 2023. Start it off right. See you on the water. Peace.